This grand solar minimum increases the risk of a pandemic influenza outbreak due to increased cosmic rays. Now this information came out back in December of 2018, leading up to a pandemic called COVID-19. All links will be below the video. In case you haven't known, there is a potential relationship between cosmic rays and pandemics, which is why the 2018 paper was written. It was well known that there are pandemic spikes at the lows again and again, and the highs. Now the highs would be caused by solar cosmic rays and the lows galactic cosmic rays, but there is a direct relationship to cosmic rays on this chart. And in May 2020, Valentino Strasser and Michelle Casati wrote this project, which was independent and self-financed. The potential relationship between cosmic rays and pandemics from 1700 to COVID-19. Now, thankfully, pandemic gardening is on the increase. More than half of Canadians are growing their own food this year, a study shows. More people are starting to grow at least one fruit or vegetable at home, which is an excellent response to what's going on. And COVID-19 is not the only virus we have to be worried about, albeit very limited as far as the death count is concerned. A historic epidemic has been making a scary comeback in the shrouds of the COVID-19 pandemic, this is scarlet fever. And now there is over 600,000 people this year that have contracted the scarlet fever. So, pandemics are inevitable. And the scientific literature abounds. Is the 2019 novel coronavirus related to a spike in cosmic rays? Well, yes, it is. Electron flux and cosmic ray anomaly before the H1N1 outbreak shows us the repetitive pattern. And as early as 1985, using the information of cosmic rays to predict the influence of flu epidemics or epidemics in general was coming out of China. Now, I'm going to leave you tonight the full paper, link below, on the potential relationship between cosmic rays and pandemics from 1700 to COVID-19 by Strasser and Cassati. We've got it for free. Most papers cost money, but this one doesn't. So you can do your own research, do your own homework, look at all the spikes, and be completely convinced that there is definitely something going on in relationship to cosmic rays and pandemics. Hope you got something out of the video. If nothing else, what you should glean is we, we have entered the modern maximum for cosmic rays in all of recorded history. It's going to be increasing for the next several years. It may decrease a little during solar max, during cycle 25, but it will go back up into an uncharted territory. And sometime during 2032, more pandemics more outbreaks with crop failures and famine. It's anyone's guess how this will unfold, but we are fighting pandemics with the actual electric universe these days, harnessing the most common state of matter in the universe, plasma. And because of the shortage of PPE, scientists have discovered a way to disinfect clothing, masks and other products using nothing more than plasma. The fourth state of matter that the entire population has been duped into thinking is dark energy and dark matter. It's not you, it's the sun causing everything, including pandemics. Be safe. We love you.
And that is a boom to knowledge. Share this video with like-minded people. Read the papers linked below and become the most inimitable force in the resistance. Knowledge is power and the most dangerous weapon to a corrupt government is an informed public. Be safe. And that's a boom.